Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is We're All Gonna Die. I am so glad to be back. I know I haven't made a video on Lily for a little bit, but I just quickly want to say today we're actually going to be covering the topic, a lot of topics, including dark Hollywood. I post Lily Rose Depp videos every now and then on like makeup tutorials because I feel like there isn't enough currently on YouTube. I do have a whole playlist and videos on Lily looks. This one specifically I thought we can do just like some basic, some wearable looks. If you guys like my channel, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want. It really helps when you guys, um, you know, subscribe but also watch the video the whole way through. I'm not sure if you guys know that. It helps recommend my channel on the YouTube uh, recommended page and on the home page and on the sidebars. It's so crazy because my channel really has been growing and I'm just so appreciative of you guys. This video I'm making because you guys really wanted more so I definitely listen to you guys. Let me know what you guys want to see next and let's get started. If I'm being fully transparent right now, I actually already put on foundation and I have my like little like dusty mirror. But this is going to be kind of an affordable look because I feel like a lot of you guys are still in school. We're mapping out her face. I kind of put off this video for a while because I wanted um, also like look at how dewy my face is. I did put a foundation, but I didn't want to hide this because I don't really care. I have a primer, which I will link below, which is what I used and it's like drugstore. So I would wanted to try a bunch of new products before I did this video but there is things going on in my life right now that is preventing me it's actually taking up all of my energy I hope I was in frame it's kind of taking up quite a bit of my time this is gonna be a transformational look so that's why I'm kind of putting this much but typically I'll just add some here on my nose and um, under my eyes and now I have a brush to kind of blend this out we're gonna cover quite a bit of topics today one being dark Hollywood if you guys have no idea what that is you guys loved the first video that I did it was the second video I think that I ever did when I was trying to come back to YouTube after you know trying to like make YouTube a thing for me my face just gets so red when I'm blending these things it's kind of crazy and I have been sleeping with my makeup on and obviously that's not good my face is just so irritated so please ignore that also i have lights you guys like what the heck because this is a transformational look that's why this is going to be kind of a little dramatic she's like a bronzy glowy queen so we're trying to we're trying to recreate that. I tried to get a lot of these products affordable for you guys and I will talk about a couple other products. For concealer, kind of like, I always like prefer to do it with my, with my finger because like as far as like this area because I just feel like the finger just is great. <laughs> It's crazy because out here right now, like where I live, it's normally like the, it doesn't get too cold, but we're finally experiencing some coldness because of probably like global warming. I don't even know. Also, I kind of look like a ghost. It's so funny because normally when I film outside in my, not outside, but in my living room, I would say it's more forgiving, but also like if I do my makeup like a certain way, you can't even tell. So like I have to pack on like 10 layers when I'm in like natural light, but filming. Does that make sense? The reason why we're putting it there is because she's got like fuller cheekbones and her face is, um, they say it's round. I don't even know, honestly. First, we're gonna go in with contour, which is what I have here. This is a Fenty one. I wouldn't say it's like affordable, but it's not expensive either. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in some areas of my forehead just to try to mimic hers. Um, and then we're gonna go in with bronzer. I always do my nose. But yeah, I would probably skip this part because this part doesn't really, I think like it doesn't really make a difference as far as bronzing and everything like that, that you definitely need to like follow. We're gonna do a little bit of this bronze. Why does it look so red on camera? I don't know. I always feel like in my hairline, um, I just have like a funny hairline. Also her like cheeks are just very, so just like this U shape. I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to get so emo yet because I do have some emo news. Let's talk about dark, um, like 
psychology celebrities all that stuff because i know you guys like that so the reason why i did the video that i did the first one that i posted I, I was thinking about it the other day i heard a podcast and it was after like the whole like corona happened of course but coachella the whole thing about like what's her name being so upset and she couldn't believe that coachella wasn't gonna be a thing but it's the Hudgens, and she was just so like annoyed about it right but obviously like she came on to i guess she didn't talk to her people or her team or for some reason maybe they thought it was relatable or something like that which is kind of how those things work sometimes um and she voiced her opinion she voiced her opinion she looked dumb right i think it's also important to know that a lot of these celebrities when they were growing up and being taught like school there wasn't a lot of emphasis on their education more on their talent so that's why a lot of them lack basic education sometimes i remember hearing someone talk about how like celebrity culture is dying which i can really appreciate celebrities really are this mystical thing that we like didn't know about and also, I have like a pimple here, so let's see if we can cover that. The less you say, the more mysterious you look. That's kind of what we were being fed about celebrities for the longest time until, you know, these current technologies, I guess, which I feel like I find it so interesting and that could be a whole other topic, which we're not gonna get into that. And again, that idea of celebrity culture dying, I actually really, I love because it's just weird to glorify another human being next we're gonna move on to powder this is what i use it's translucent powder by number seven i've been in fandoms before so there's some things that i've learned and this is so interesting to me like pr and learning about things like that which is so weird because i was like 14 learning about those things it's like why do you need to know i'm not trying to be a hater at all like i'm a, like i've been a part of fandom you know you get older and you have other things to do offend anyone at all i'm just trying to say is like if you look at it from like an existential perspective it really is weird how invested we are in some people sometimes I feel like it's a strategy from the team and just celebrity culture as a whole which is so interesting to look at in that way like can you guys ever help never ever being interested in anyone famous even like uh, lily like i love her makeup looks and stuff like that i have said that i've been a part of a couple fandoms but i just wanted to like tell you like the depths of where i've been i remember being a part of like a specific fandom and i'm not gonna say who because doesn't matter but basically there was a singer that was kind of like small town whatever and he wrote he wrote like cutesy music whatever and at the time i think i was like 13 or something i was obsessed with him and i went to go visit him in his hometown and i went to all his favorite places and somehow i just knew where his dad worked which is creepy but between the fandoms it's like who knows the most and who can find where he lives and just be like appreciative but like that is still creepy right you don't really get it when you're in there but i never found out where you know where he lived in I felt kind of shy about doing it, but it's like rightfully so. That's all I'm trying to say, like not at all trying to shame anyone. Like if you really think about it, it is creepy, but whatever. Just putting like a little toe powder to kind of make it look like I have those cheekbones. One thing that I learned, if there's a band member, let's just say, and this band member has like the least amount of publicity, like no one really cares about this band member. Like if he's gonna go to Paris with his nobody cares about girlfriend and he's being photographed at the airport, it's like, but otherwise, like, no one cares. With publicity, what you are seeing is what they want you to see. The management team of a lot of these celebrities control a lot of what we are seeing and have connections. Like, even, like, with Kris Jenner, you guys, everyone says that Kris Jenner, I don't, obviously, I don't know. But if you read things, if you talk to people that work in the in, in these areas, which actually, I'll post the website that I had um, learned about, like, their Kardashians and, like, a little bit more about them, but I don't really care about them, honestly. It's just, like, they have connections and they kind of pick and choose what they will release. And I promise you guys, like, it's not just this website. Like, so many people talk about these things about um you know the way that pr works and what they choose to release and how a lot of it is controlled especially with like nobodies if people don't care about these uh specific celebrities it's just like funny how they're like just photographed at whatever airport because apparently paparazzis aren't just like waiting at airports to see like if a random celebrity will just come through like you know what i'm saying a lot of people have said that the team and celebrities will call um paparazzis to an airport right so let's say hypothetically there is this nobody celebrity like as in like he's not really they're not really popular you see a lot of pictures of them really only with i don't know if you're getting what i'm trying to imply but let's just say like he's taking pictures a lot of pictures with his um girlfriend and those are really the only pictures that you're seeing from that like nobody cares celebrity whether or not he 
is with that person. It's just funny how you're being fed only the pictures when he's at the airport, right? With the girlfriend and not whenever he's by himself. Like, isn't that kind of funny? Even if they are actually together, sometimes they're trying to sell you the part of the image for the celebrity is like wholesome. So even take that into consideration. Maybe they are together, but they just really want you to see when he is with someone so it can look like he is like such a saint. And maybe he is, who knows? But that's all kind of in the psychology of the celebrity and what's going on behind the curtains and the people controlling this image of a person lady gaga you know she's like pretty big um, i don't even know anything about her that much she's pretty big and she's good at avoiding paparazzi which i just feel like is just funny i did really go in with um the contour and i really try not to blend it because with in pictures this is what you want next we're gonna go in with blush lily wears more of like a um, peachy kind of color this is a dupe for one of her more popular chanel blush that she uses i do not use chanel because it's not cr cruelty free but on me it looks pretty muddy so i'm actually gonna layer it this is what i normally like before in the past in all my videos have used you guys this natasha natasha denona blush i would recommend this instead it is more expensive this is the mini and it's 20 bucks and this is seven bucks but you get more product in this if you look at the ounces you would think that this blush would be cooler than this one this one always ends up looking way more peachy on me which i don't love but this one doesn't, which I'm just like confused. For this, this is perfect. This one, the payoff is crazy. Like I'm barely touching it, which that's cute, right? The other one, like I barely touched it. That's like not even a good swatch because like obviously you shouldn't just like barely touch your, your blushes, but I'm just saying like, you go through less product here. This is gonna be the base, and then I'm gonna go in with the Glossier one. Dark Hollywood is something that I didn't actually take up on my own. It's not like something that I made up. I read it on um, the blog that I was talking about earlier. I just love to learn about psychology and celebrity culture. Like I, I think it's interesting, psychology in general. Celebrity culture is just interesting because they're always at arm's length from you and it's on purpose. Maybe you should implement those things into your life. Like, just to have like men at arm's length, which I'm obviously joking. I'm just trying to be funny. But if you ever want to be mysterious, I friggin' promise you say less and the like, men come to you like they think you're mysterious because you say less which also then, by the way like leads into the cool girl cool girl girl trope which i thought i would touch up on but in a little bit what it really is is kind of like talking about what goes on behind the scenes and it's actually really sad um what goes on behind the scenes in things like hollywood which have so much money and are linked to so many rich celebrities um and even families that we don't even like that probably pay um hollywood and, and such i'm sure you guys have heard conspiracies there are these islands that rich people could only afford and they take women and just like that one movie have you guys seen this movie i'll insert it here because i like i shut eyes wide shut it's like people that have like the that are the richest and the most famous that get access to these parties and that they have them and the, these islands and it's all of these rich men that are surrounded by sex workers or um people that were forced into this also for her eyebrow i have like a video where i go super into depth with this this is sort of like the general map so you go straight up you come down here and then there's a strong line running through here. So hopefully that kind of you, gave you some guidance. Yeah, so they have these exclusive parties. They'll have them somewhere where you won't know. So it's like at the back of the building or underground somewhere or at like a supermarket, I think they said. Um, or again in these islands or at someone's rich rich mansion they they have talked about like disney and what goes on between there and just like the dark aspect being young and um having all of these people praise you how this can kind of lead to drugs which makes me think that i should watch that um britney spears thing that everyone's kind of talking about not only does this celebrity culture shed light on dumb celebrities obviously i feel like it also sheds light on just like the things that go on in the background and how it can really scar these celebrities and why these celebrities end up being this way because they're forced I, I remember they did one on britney but like basically like even after all of the things that she was going through the dark things that she was going through you could just tell that she wasn't okay and after being on the tablets i think it was after she shaved her head she had to do an immediate performance after and um everyone knew that i think that she had gone into rehab i'm not really sure but um, and that she was still performing. Obviously all the celebrities knew, but they're still a product for these companies. Of course, some of them turn to drugs, 
not all of them but you would think that they would though if we're gonna talk about childhood actors for a minute like imagine being in that position you're four or seven years old and all of a sudden you are the provider for the family your family is literally relying on you to make the money for everyone and to provide for literally everyone sometimes they're being taken advantage by these uh men that are basically ruling the world <laughs> you know these hungry rich men how do you say no to someone th when you're so young that you think that you can trust which is so difficult it's appealing to us and how we glorify it but we really don't know what goes on behind the scenes and how tragic sometimes their life could be i'm not saying that they have the hardest life ever i mean i'm sure some of them probably do but it's funny how sometimes like even as kids like we think that we want fame and we think that that'll be the answer but obviously we see situations like for example mac miller where he did achieve he was more rich and obviously like things didn't work out for him which is so 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 like sad i guess that exclusivity is also something that we're super drawn to it's good that we're learning that it's not it's not what we thought it was or that what we think it is so then next i'm just gonna set my brows and i went in with two different products for the brows because this is something that I've talked about before, but this kind of gives it more definition. Her brows are amazing. I love, I love bushy brows. So if you have that, like you guys, I'm really jealous, like honestly. Now we're going to move on to eyes. And first color that I go in with is actually a, just a really light taupe. And then we can build from there. Now we're not talking about celebrities. We're going to talk about me and updates with me and why I haven't really been posting a lot of videos that you guys have been um, requesting for. The reason why I have not really been posting is because if you haven't seen any of my other videos because I do talk about, about ballet and stuff like that, I don't want to look back and only see these. I don't want to look back and see these videos and only like think about all of these unfortunate events that I'm going through. And I can't cry because I'm gonna ruin my makeup. Found out like a week ago, I had been going on and off to the doctors because I found a tumor in my chest. And I'm gonna make a video specifically, but everyone was telling me that it's probably nothing. We got the feedback and I actually have breast cancer. I've had to do a lot of traveling, you guys, but I'm gonna be finding out what my treatment is and I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And I like making these videos because it makes me feel like we're gonna go in with the dip brow next. I like to layer products. It makes me feel normal and it makes me take my mind off of things. Sorry, my freaking phone keeps going off. It's just, I have it on because all these doctors are gonna be calling me and stuff. That's good. So I don't want these videos to just be me talking about cancer the whole time, basically. I'm 24, by the way which is just so messed up. Yeah, if any of you guys are going through this, like it really helps if you tell me like just how it's been for you. I think the next couple videos I'm gonna be posting are just gonna be hospital videos. Unfortunately, like, vlogs because apparently through treatment you get heavy fatigue and I'm just, I don't wanna have a breakdown in this video, but I'm probably gonna have surgery. I don't really know yet because I haven't seen the doctor. But more than likely for young women, I will um, have to have radiation. I think I just want to stop talking about it. And now we're going to layer with this um, liner that I have. And now we're going to go in with that same liner and we're going to go on top and underneath. The only other thing that I'm going to do is kind of just connect my nose to like these parts of her eyes because she has um, a really definite line here. So I'm going to do that off screen. Okay, sorry you guys, my mom actually called me on the phone so I obviously had to answer just because of everything going on. So I kind of touched up the brows, made them a little longer whenever you do that too, by the way, you guys. Apparently this is like one of the reasons why Audrey did it is because it makes you look a little bit more youthful. As far as mascara, I feel like she doesn't even put any on brush the lashes this way my cat doesn't want me in the bed my beautiful gorgeous boy i have this color that i talked about before it's called mason i think so i try to kind of keep it natural even when i'm imitating her lips um what it looks like i have a bruised lip lipped what i have is this nude sort of lip so like for the camera this looks great 
but in real life i feel like i look bruised i was trying to like mimic one of her pictures where you could see like her bra underneath and it's like a pinkish bra like like that she has it like that but like i'm not cool or i'm not a gemini i didn't actually end up talking about gong just the fact like the whole cool girl and yes it's like not like other girls but just in general i like how they gave a name to this like trope of a female that is written by men it's almost like we are performing for men i mean yes these characters written in these roles are but just so that we can feel like we are like the chill one to make a guy kind of like us it's almost like a performance it's like we have to be kind of cool with some of these things it's like oh yes i know about that and i know this and let me learn about cars because guys think it's cool and let me blah 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 i don't know what like i definitely did i don't know if you guys have ever um gone through a period like this i remember my friend she had been she had gone on a date with this guy and i remember telling her about it because i was so excited whenever i learned something new sometimes when you're trying to like what you think is your best version of yourself is what you show to the guys that you like or whatever that is another performance but that's also like you acting from ego which who cares but i mean like obviously but like Moving on, my friend, she'd gone on a date, blah, 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 they were dating. Something had happened where he was like, oh my god, you did all that for me. And immediately, like, she realized, because she just read Gone Girl or whatever, the way that he said things kind of turned her off. She's just, like, kind of thought about, like, the whole performance thing and whether or not, I guess, she was. He was just, like, you know, thinking something else. It didn't hit him like it hit her. Like, they were having two different conversations at once. Do you guys ever think, like, is this really me or am I just performing for this? guy right now in my life i feel like i just don't give a fuck right now like i really don't but anyway i would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video i know that i had so much information and this video was all over the place but i really like talking about psychology and it's in my bedroom so this feels like really professional youtuber and i think i just realized that my uh video thing was like a little lopsided subscribe and like i will see you guys so soon